Adams, number two of PCs at all time. Adrian Peterson, 2012. It's the greatest rushing season that the NFL has ever seen. A modern player carrying the load against modern defenses and still cranking out six yards per carry. It's absolutely uncanny. Let's go, fellas. It's time to move this rock. Hand off Adrian to the left. Steps up to the right. Puts the 10 to the 5. Ball goes to the end zone. In 2012, Adrian Peterson unleashed an MVP season. He topped the 2,000-yard mark with over six yards per carry and fell just shy of a single-season rushing record. Peterson, 199 rushing yards and 34 carries. He will finish nine yards short of the all-time single-season record. You said nine yards away from me? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. And stand another year. Many of the great running back seasons we see on this list coincided with great quarterback seasons. There was a Phillip Rivers or there was a John Elway taking some pressure off. Christian Ponder was not taking any pressure off Adrian Peterson. Just the opposite. Fires to the end zone interception. You've got to be kidding me. After a 50-yard run by Adrian. It's 2012 and Christian Ponder's thrown for 110 yards a week and the Vikings are winning games. You know, that's Adrian Peterson. The St. Louis Rams use a five-man defensive front. That's how dead set they were on stopping Adrian. He'd split the defense and run for a long touchdown. Rams across the line of scrimmage. It's Peterson up the middle. He splits the defense. Goodbye, baby. That's an 82-yard touchdown by Adrian Peterson. Hey, they can't stop us, man. There's so many reasons that Adrian Peterson's 2012 season is one of the greatest in NFL history. First and foremost is coming back from that torn ACL. That's just incredible. In week 16 of 2011, Peterson tore the ACL and MCL in his left knee and had it surgically repaired on New Year's Eve. It's tough for a running back to have an injury like that and to come back and play football again. <laughs> But here's again, Adrian Peterson came back and almost broke Eric Dickerson's record. Focus on that area right there. Just watch the fluid push through. Nobody said it's going to be easy. But he's a freak. It was like he went to see whoever like made Lee Majors the $6 million man. And then like they made him some sort of like bionic commando running back hybrid. And he came back and he was better and stronger than ever. Completely redefined what we think about knee injuries. Are we going to at some point say stop whining and it's only, a, it's only an ACL? He ended up having 348 carries, which was the second most of his career. And then we find out after the season, of course, that he did that with the sports hernia. So on top of coming back miraculously from major knee surgery, he finished the season brilliantly with a sports hernia. Overcome adversity. I really think the man is made partly out of adamantium. This guy should go to the Smithsonian. They got to study him. How can he do that? That's incredible to me. I'm here to introduce the fantasy player of the year, not to be confused with the sexual fantasy player of the year. I'm sitting at my draft, and I'm sitting there in the third round, and I'm looking at Adrian Peterson, right, or Ben Jarvis Green Ellis, and I'm debating, who do I want to take here? Come on, man. And that player is Adrian Peterson. Because Adrian Peterson was available later in drafts, and he had such a historic season, I think we can make a good case that he was the most valuable fantasy running back pickup. And I just want to say to all the people that selected me in their fantasy football league that, hey, thank you for believing. Now I can share this with you on Twitter. How Adrian Peterson is not atop this list, I think is an absolute mistake. What Adrian Peterson did in 2012 was the best we've ever seen from a uh, just a pure running standpoint. The scary thing is when you come back from these injuries, everybody says it's the next year that he's going to be better. Oh, my God. Can he do it again? The NFL will never, ever see again what Adrian Peterson did in 2012 unless Adrian does it in 2013. Oh!